for those of you who are into coincidences, I've got some uh, major coincidences to report. Uh, the first one was about 10 years ago. I was a driving instructor and I was listening to a, I wouldn't call it song because no, there was no lyrics in it, but it was uh, called um, Sunshine with Rain by, I believe, Joseph Farah, I think. And the reason, what happened was I was uh, driving and it was raining and the sunshine was out. And I, and I thought, you know, I think there's a song or piece on this CD called Sunshine and Rain, Sunshine with Rain. And I saw the number and I took it out and by golly, that number matched. It, it was it was Sunshine with Rain and it was just, it just so happened to be raining and the sunshine was out while I was listening to that. And I thought, wow, that's a coincidence. Another coincidence is where I dropped this uh, uh, empty water bottle, uh, bottle of water, and it bounced up and landed on the head with the cap. The cap was on. It bounced up and landed right on, straight up, and didn't fall over. Just bounced up, flipped around, and boom, right on top. You know, I thought, whoa, that's a coincidence. But the biggest coincidence uh, happened when I was a long-distance trucker. I was uh, driving through Kansas on a lonely stretch of road and um, I was listening to a book on tape, a novel on tape, or actually more like a novel on CD. It was called The Unnamed, about a guy who had to keep on walking, he ends up walking around all over America. and. There's a scene in that novel where he's walking down that exact same stretch of road that I was driving on at that time. And this is the thing that's really, this is really freaky here. I looked up and uh, saw on that road a gas station called Sinclair and the logo was a green brontosaurus. I don't know if it still is, but at the time it was, and right when I looked up and saw that, on that novel, being read at that exact same time, was that exact same gas station with the logo. I look up, I see the logo, and then it's suddenly being described on that CD. And I think, what are the odds? You know? The Bible says God's working all things the glory and counsel of his will. That means if God planned it that I would look up and see that logo, that exact same gas station, that exact same stretch of road as described in that novel at that exact same time, that means God had me going to the bathroom at such and such a times, uh, having the stop, so, stop lights working at such and such intersections at that time and stuff, or even before, having me sleep with this, you know, getting the same calls and stuff going that way, then have it designed where I would be going here to pick up a load to go over here, just so I'd look up and see that logo of what was described in that novel, that exact same gas station, exact same stretch of road right at that time which proves to me that we really are living in a matrix yeah the twilight zone now this is the stuff that would be uh, that was being made fun of in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy as far as coincidences go you know what I mean and um, it really seemed to nail it to me <laughs> that uh, God really is working all things to go in counts of his will to have it timed that perfectly, you know? So, yeah, because wh wh why would I be listening to that tape and to be on that kind of road at such and such a time just to hear, the, just to see that logo of the, the Green Bondosaurus of Sinclair, that's exact same one. 
it's like the guy who wrote the novel knew about it and knew that it'd be there at such and such a time but it, you know he didn't so it was timed you know so anyway I thought, you'd let you, I thought you'd, I'd let you think over it and c try to come up with an explanation for it you know if there was no God involved for that but 